On Earth, gravity pulls you down at 9.8 meters per second per second. This means that if you were to, say, jump out of a plane, you'd be going 9.8 meters per second faster each second you were falling. On and on, getting faster and faster. So why don't skydivers end up digging a huge hole in the ground when they land? The answer is air resistance, or drag. If you've ever stuck your hand out of a car window, you will have felt this as a pressure pushing back on your hand. The same thing is happening to a skydiver. Air pressure builds up below them, as air can't get out of the way fast enough, while above them air can't fill back in fast enough and a partial vacuum forms. The difference in pressure is what causes air resistance. The moment the force exerted by drag equals the force of gravity on the object, that object will stop accelerating and maintain a constant or terminal velocity. Naturally, everyone's terminal velocity is different. Your weight determines how much force you exert on the air, and your surface area determines your drag. Shifting body posture can alter the surface area greatly, allowing a skilled skydiver to accelerate or decelerate rapidly, allowing for spectacular acrobatics. This is also why parachutes work. They increase the surface area of the skydiver, and so increase the drag. This changes their terminal velocity, from around 54 meters per second, or 120 miles per hour, to a more survivable 5 meters per second, or 11 miles an hour. I hope you enjoyed the show. Why not subscribe, or like us in the links below.